the way Jesus Christ put it in Luke chapter 18, verse 1. He said that men ought to pray always and never to faint. Glory to Jesus. So whatever you are joining from, maybe in your home, maybe um, at work, maybe you're in traffic, you're driving, I want to encourage you to, to do your best to participate, be a part of what God wants to do in your own life tonight. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. If you need to call one or two family or, or friends, if you need to, um, you know, check on people that need to be part of tonight's service, this is a good time to do so right now. Amen. About tonight, we're going to start with Thanksgiving. Anywhere you are, if you can lift up your right hand, anywhere you are, just lift those right hands up and begin to give him all the praise and all the glory. In him we move, in him we dwell, in him we have our being. We are not alive because of our wisdom. We're not alive because of our strength. We're not alive because we are better than other people. We are here because he made it possible. Glory to Jesus. If you just speak in other tongues as you worship him, as you give him all the praise and all the glory. We worship you, Jesus. We, pray, we glorify you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. We join the host of heaven, Lord, tonight uh, to give you all the praise that you alone deserve. Uh, you have taken care of us from January to March to July to June. I mean, to, to September we are in right now. It is your mercy. We are not wiser than anybody else that has passed on. We are not, you know, stronger than them. We are not richer than them. It is your grace that has kept us. We are grateful for your grace, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Thank him, thank him for your work. Thank him for your career. Thank him for your business. Thank him for your families. Thank him for your children. Thank him for your spouses. We bless your name, Jesus. We glorify your name, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Marabashe ketiliga yande de debosha. Lika da da bosha katalaba hande de debosha. Kalibo zeketeleba. Give him all the praise. Bible says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercies endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercies endure forever. Father, we'll bless your name, we'll glorify your name. Oh, God, Iba shakata. Lika da da bosha katalaba hande de debosha. If you have been a follower of our church, you will know that we're in a season of fasting and prayer. We have called it resurge. And, you know, in this season, as we well, fast and pray. One of the things that is important when you fast and pray is that, you know, that your heart be renewed. That your Christian life be rejuvenated. Tonight, I want to begin to declare that you experience a renewal in your inner man. That you experience a renewal in your life. That what matters to God matters to you. That you develop deep hunger for prayer. Deep hunger for the word. Deep hunger for Christian in service. Tonight, you might have gone very far from him, but he said, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Take one step towards Jesus this night. Declare that you have a deep hunger for him. Declare that a deep hunger for Jesus is bring on your inside. A deep hunger for prayer. A deep hunger for the word. Oh, declare that your Christian life is strengthened. That you are strengthened with power by His Spirit in the inner man. Declare that you are strengthened with power by His Spirit in the inner man. The life, the times we live in, it is easy to get weary. It is easy to, to forget that we are Christians, but tonight uh, reconnect yourself to your source. Ya kada bonde gede bosha, li kada bojeka to la bande, le keze ketili gayande de bosha, li kada da boje ketele gande de bosha, ya kada da bosha keta. Declare that you're renewed uh, from within. Uh, ya kada da bonde gede de bosha, ya kada da boje ke zika to la baha. Declare that your life is pleasing to Jesus. Uh, that whether you are absent or alive, uh, ya kada boje kete, your life is pleasing unto Him. Uh, Ya kada da bosha katalaba. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh, tonight is going to be a powerful night of prayer, I can tell you. You need to call people that are not part of us already. Tonight is going to be a powerful time in prayer. Glory to Jesus. You see, one of the things that is important that happens in this season as you pray and fast is that you encounter Jesus. Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostles that Peter was fasting and while they made the food ready, he went into a trance. <laughs> fasting and prayer allowed him to, act, to have access to the supernatural. Bible says that when Paul was on a voyage to, 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 to Rome, <laughs> I haven't fasted 14 days. The Bible said an angel of the Lord stood by him and gave him a word that he will be preserved and every life that is with him will be preserved. And Paul stood in their midst and said that don't, don't worry. Everybody will be saved on this boat regardless of what happens because an angel of the Lord stood by me. And Paul said, I believe that it shall be even as he was told me. In this season, it is important that you crave. It is important that you hunger for supernatural encounters. Supernatural experiences, they strengthen your work with Jesus. Jesus, uh, so now I begin to declare uh, that in this season you encounter God uh, all by yourself. Uh, you don't need to be in a this, in this church environment, uh, in your own bedroom, uh, in your own living room, uh, that you encounter Jesus. Uh, begin to desire tonight in a place of prayer, uh, supernatural encounters uh, as you pray, as you fast. Uh, supernatural encounters. Uh, supernatural encounters that your spiritual life is rejuvenated Ya kada da boja kata laba eke zika to laba ratala ba eke zeke tiliga yanda da boja out of your bellies flows rivers of living waters tonight as we pray I want you to begin to declare and that there will be a hunger for ministry gifts, a hunger for spiritual gifts. That from this season of prayer, from this season of fasting, you begin to prophesy. You begin to prophesy. You begin to be filled with the words of wisdom, words of knowledge. The gift of faith is, is activated on your inside. That spiritual gifts, they are activated in you tonight as you pray, begin to make that your desire. Bible says that the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the profiting of all. The manifestation of the Spirit is given for the profiting of all. Tonight begin to declare that you manifest the gift of the Spirit for the profiting of all. Declare the one that lays hands on the sick and they recover. The one that lays hands on the sick and they recover. Oh, Give him all the praise, give him all the glory. Oh, Yabarabasha Talabaha. Give him all the praise, give him all the glory. He kada da 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 bosha. He kada da 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 boje ketele ganda. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We are still praying tonight. Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, it says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. He said, we should not seek after money. We should not seek after things. We should not seek after promotions alone. We should seek the kingdom of God first. Then the promotion will be added. Then the money will be added. Then the children will be added. Then the marriage will be added. Every other thing is meant to be added to us. You know why I know that? He said, after these things, the hidden seeker, those that worship idols, they pursue after things. Once the child of God begins to pursue after things, he is no longer acting in the true capacity of who he is, who is the child of God. So if you are seeking after things, God is saying tonight, huh, don't seek after things, huh, seek after me. Huh. Why do you want to seek after things that are meant to be added? Huh? When you can have me, you have them all. Glory to Jesus. Tonight begin to declare huh, that your desire is his desire. That your ambition is his ambition. Huh? That his desire is your desire. God's desire is your desire. God's desire is your desire. That you are hungry to, 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 to please Jesus. You are hungry to please Jesus. Huh? That you are seeking the kingdom. Huh? And 
his righteousness. Declare that your life glorifies him. Declare that your Lord Jesus, my desire is you. Make that your prayer tonight. My desire is you. My desire is you, Jesus. My desire is you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. We are still praying tonight. I'm telling you, tonight is a time of powerful prayers. Oh, glory to Jesus. Tonight is that night. If you have not called your friends and family, you need to get them hooked up to this prayer line this moment. Oh, glory to Jesus. I love the words of the, uh, I love what the Bible says in the book of James. He said, you have not because you ask not. He said, when you ask, you ask, you receive not because you ask amiss. It is possible for you to think you are praying and you are not praying. That's why he said, you, you have not because you ask not. Sometimes believers go into the place of prayer and all they do is complain and complain and say in Jesus' mighty name. And Jesus is wondering, did you come to talk to me? Did you come to ask for things or to complain? So tonight you are going to ask God in prayer specific things, glory to Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus. I love the way the Bible puts it. He said, this is the confidence we we'll have in him. That when we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And because we know that he hears us, we have our petitions granted. So we're going to ask and not complain. We're going to ask and not murmur. And when you are asking, your asking must be specific. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Then he said, you receive not because you ask a means, because you can ask wrongly. You can, um, we have learned from pastorology that one of the ways that prayer works is, 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 is by applying the right principles. Glory to Jesus. There are right principles that guarantee answers in prayer. As a matter of fact, Jesus Christ said in, uh, in Mark 11 verse 24, he said, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. That's one of the principles is that you must believe because believing equals receiving. How do you know that you believe that when you leave the place of prayer, you live with a persuasion and an assurance that it is done, it is settled. That was what happened with Hannah in the book of Samuel. When Hannah left praying, the Bible said her countenance changed and she was no longer sad because what made her sad was already done in the place of prayer. So tonight we're going to ask and we're we're going to ask rightly. We are going to be specific with our request. And we are going to believe what we say. And we are going to receive what we believe. Glory to Jesus. If you are excited where you are, type amen. Type hallelujah. Jeremiah 3 verse 3. He said, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. He said, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. To now begin to... Begin to make known your expectations to God. Huh? Begin to express your expectations to Jesus. Huh? He said, call unto me and I'll answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. Huh? He said that what you can ask, huh? I can do much more than that. No wonder in the New Testament Bible says he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above what we can ask. Or imagine. Glory to Jesus. So tonight, I don't know what your desire is. Maybe yours is promotion in your career. Maybe your desire is, is increase in your business. Maybe your desire is a set of twins. Maybe it's a set of triplets. Maybe your desire is a new house. Maybe your desire is a new car. Maybe yours is marriage. Maybe yours is a healing. I don't know what your desire is. But begin to express your desire to Jesus. Bible says that the expectation of the righteous, it will not be cut short. The expectation of the righteous, it will not be cut short. God I'm going to start by leading the business community in prayer. The Bible says that Isaac sold in the same land, in the same land that there was famine, in the same land that he was going to run away from. He was going to disappear from that land. He was going to relocate himself and his family to another land. 
But the angel of the Lord appeared and said, stay in this place. Glory to Jesus. Sir. He said, stay in this place. Sir. And the Bible said, he sold in that land. You are in Nigeria. Maybe you are in Australia. Maybe you are in Canada. Maybe you are in the U.S. or in the U.K. Whichever land you find yourself. Sir. I bring a word to you that whatever you lay your hands upon prospers. Sir. You know why? The Bible said, he sold in that land. Sir. And he ripped a hundredfold. Glory to Jesus. Begin to declare increase a hundredfold. Sir. Upon your business activities in the year 2020. Uh, begin to declare that this year 2020, hundredfold returns. Uh, and be specific. Uh, if you don't know what a hundredfold means, uh, just add another zero to your figures. Uh, declare that you are marvelously helped. Uh, that all the resources required, they gravity towards you. Huh? All the resources require capital, people resources, approvals, uh, whatever you need, technology, that you have access to them. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Lika dada bosha, leke de 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 bosha kata, lida da basaka talabande, ye keda da bosha ketele baha, ye kada ba. Bible says in Psalm 5, verse 11 and 12, he said, Thou will bless the righteous with favor, you will compass him as a shield, as a businessman, as a businesswoman. Ye kada bosha kata, ye kede de bosha ka, begin to release favor for supernatural growth and expansion. Begin to release favor for supernatural growth and expansion. Lika dada bosha kata, Leke de de bonda galabaha, e kada da da galabosha, e ke da da bosha kata, e kada da bosha. Declare that you are busting forth to the right, you are busting forth to the left, you are kada da bonda. Declare that you are moving forward aggressively. Every obstacle on your way, they scatter, ye kada da bosha. Every obstacle on your way, they disappear, ye kada da bonda galabosha, e ke de 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 bonda la galabasha, e kadida bashaka taliga, e ke de de Bosa Kataliga, Yeke de de Bonda Galala Bonda, Eke de 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 Galala Baha, Yaka da 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 Bonda, Eke Zika Tula Banda da da Bosa, Eka da 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 Bosa Talabanda, Eka da da Bosa, declare her. That tonight, uh, all the resources required as a business person, uh, they gravitate towards you uh, from the north, uh, from the south, uh, from the east, uh, from the west. Uh, all the resources required, they gravitate towards you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, Bosha Talabanda, E Kada da da Bosha, E Kada da Bosha. No wonder the psalmist says in Psalm 121, verse 1, he said, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? He said, My help comes from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. If he can make the heavens and the earth, there's nothing you need that he has not made. E Kada Bosha Katalabaha. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Next phase, we're going to pray for all the people in, that, that are in paid employment. You, you work for someone, you're a paid employee, you work in an organization, tonight is your night, glory to Jesus. There's something called supernatural speed. Huh? There's something called supernatural speed. Huh? But supernatural speed oftentimes is accompanied with supernatural skill, glory to Jesus. Huh? Bible talks about Daniel. Huh? Daniel has superior wisdom. He could interpret difficult things. Huh? But when we learned about Joseph. Huh? He, he had uncommon wisdom huh? to, to, to prosper in the, land, in the house of Potiphar. Uncommon wisdom to prosper even in jail. Her, then uncommon wisdom her, to interpret the, the, the dream of the king her, and lead Egypt to prosperity when the entire world was going to recession. You are in the company you work for for such a time as this. Her. You are in the organization you work with for such a time as this her, to lead them out of the place of penury, her, to lead them into a place of glory her, because the anointing of God is upon your life. Her. Anywhere you are tonight, her, maybe you are still in the office, her, begin to declare her, that the oil of distinction comes upon you. Her. The oil of distinction comes upon you. Yakada the oil of distinction comes upon you. It sets you apart for glory. It sets you apart for increase.
Kalianda da 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 bosha. Eka da 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 bosha katala ganda. Eka da 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 bosha. Bible speaks about a man called Ahitophel. Ahitophel was one of the advisors. He was the chief advisor of King David. Ahitophel was so was so graced with wisdom that when there was a coup by the son of King David, Absalom, against David the king, Bible said that when David heard that Ahitophel followed his son, he said, we are finished. <laughs> he said the wisdom of Ahitophel. He said, the, my, he went with my son, he said, we are finished. But he now said one prayer. He said, Lord, turn the wisdom of Ahitophel to foolishness. Tonight you are going to declare that wisdom that makes your, your organization see you as indispensable, wisdom that makes you become indispensable to your organization, it comes upon you tonight. Wisdom, 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 uncommon skill comes upon you. Bible said there was a man called Bezalel in the book of Exodus chapter 33. Bible said, I've given to him the spirit of God, of wisdom in all one man of workmanship. One man, he will walk in brass, he will walk in gold, he will walk in silver, he will walk in wood. One man, he had uncommon wisdom. Tonight, say, Lord, I receive uncommon wisdom for my work. I receive uncommon wisdom for my work. I receive uncommon wisdom for my work. There's the wisdom of Harvard. There's the wisdom of Yale. There's the wisdom of UI. There's the wisdom of University of Lagos. But it's the wisdom that only God can give. And let me tell you something. The wisdom of all these Ivy League schools is, is fantastic, but still the world enters recession with them. The wisdom of God never leads to recession, sir. The wisdom of God leads to profit. Tonight, sir, declare that you have supernatural wisdom. You become indispensable, irreplaceable to your employers, indispensable to your organization. Bible speaks about the three Hebrew brothers, Shadrach, Boshak, and Abednego. They were found to be ten times better than all the astrologers, all the wise men of their time, all the magicians of their time. Declare wisdom ten times better than your colleagues, ten times better than your peers on your job. Kala bada da da bosha, yeke de 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 bosha kata, eka da 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 banda la gada ha, eke de 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 bosha. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying for people in paid employment tonight. Oh, Rabba Shakata. I see a lot of people, you have just been on the same place for too long. And some of you have entered into complaining and complaining. But tonight, there's hope, glory to Jesus. Tonight, there's a change. Ah, Rabba Shakata. We're going to declare every obstacle. Everything limiting your progress. Maraba, tonight they are dealt with. Everything limiting your progress in your place of work. Everything limiting your advancement. Every militating factor. Maybe it's your own character. Maybe it's your own inadequacy. Maybe it's disfavor with people that influence your boss. Whatever it may be. Maybe it's demonic influence and interference. Tonight they come to an end. Tonight they come to an end. Tonight they come to an end. Oh, Rabba, Ika la gande, eka da 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 bonde, eka zrata tala bonda, ika da 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 bosha, ika la gada da da ba, ya ka da 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 bonde, ika da da bosha. Tonight we release promotions. Tonight we release new jobs. Tonight we release promotions. Tonight we release new jobs. Eka da da bosha ketele bonda. Oh, thank you, Jesus. For those of you that are believing God for finance for special projects. Maybe you want to build a house. Maybe you're in debt. You want to clear off some debt. Maybe you want to buy a car. Maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you are even, you know, trying to buy, buy a vessel. I don't know what the project is. Maybe you're trying to buy a hotel. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it's not bigger than Jesus. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not bigger than our God. Our God is, he holds a thousand cattle and a thousand hills. Oh, glory to Jesus. Our God is so big. If you could count all the galaxies, there are more galaxies than human beings on planet Earth. And we don't know what is in them. Glory to Jesus. Sir. That's how big our God is. Sir. If you have to put all the wealth of the world together, it will not be a drop in the ocean of our God's wealth. Sir. He is infinite in resources. Sir. He is limitless in resources. Sir. Tonight, sir. oh, Rabba Shakatalabayanda. Oh, Rabba Shakatalabande de Do you know what he did? He called Abraham. He said, Come, count the stars in the sky. He said, Lord, who can count? <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of his power. He's, he's, he's talking to the sea sand. He said, look at the sea sand. He said, count the, sea, the sand. He said, he said, Lord, who can count this one? That's just sand. 
Do you know that our God does just not own petroleum resources, mineral resources? There are some resources today that we are trading upon that are more precious than gold that we have not discovered. All the known and the unknown wealth of the world, they belong to him. Did you hear what I said? The known ones and the unknown ones, they belong to Jesus. He said, if I was hungry, he said, I will not ask you. <laughs> you don't understand. If God could feed Elijah by a, a raven, you know what a raven is? A ravenous bird, a bird that is greedy, is scavenges. He will eat anything. The bird will come and bring baked bread and flesh, and he didn't eat the flesh on his way. Do you think that God was doing magic? It is for our sake that he wrote it. It is for our sake that it was done. So that we can know that there's no end of his wisdom. There's no end of his might. There's no end of his power. I don't know what project you are on, but tonight we'll settle it in prayer. I don't know what resources you require, but tonight we settle it in prayer. Oh, I'm reminded of the words of Apostle Paul. He said, we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. That though he was rich, yet for our sakes, he became poor. So that we, by his poverty, might become rich. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Tonight, begin to declare. All the resources you require, they gravitate towards you. They are loose from whatever they are. They may be in Afghanistan. They are loose. They may be in Korea. They are loose. They may be in South Africa. They are loose. They may be in the United the kingdom. They are loose. They are coming to you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Do that laba yeke teleganda ye kada da bosha. Speak to the north, speak to the south, command them to give up their resources. Ye kada da bosha, ye kede da bosha, li kada da 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 bonda, ya kada da 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 bonde, ye kada da 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 bosha, ye kala gada da bosha, tonight, ra kada da da bonda, i kala gada da boshe, i kada de de bosha. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shakatalabaya. Oh, Rabba Shakatalabahandi. Oh, Rabba Sheketeleba. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. We are not done. We are still praying. Glory to Jesus. I hope you are not tired yet. We are not done. We are still praying. Li Kadabo Shakata. Le Kadada Bo Sheketeleba. Men ought to pray always and never to faint. Pastor Bologna has taught us several times here at Harvesters that when you are fainting, you are not praying. Tonight we're going to pray. Maybe you have experienced delay. Some people have just experienced difficulty growing up in life. You have written jam ten times, you didn't pass. You wrote Waek five times, you didn't pass. To get a job, problem. You are doing a business, problem. You are the one that gets duped. You are the one that gets kidnapped. I don't know what it is. You have gone through a very rough life. I don't know what it is. But tonight, it comes to an end. Tonight, it comes to an end. Bible says, is any afflicted, let them pray. Tonight, we are going to bring an end to an afflicted life. He said, comfort ye, comfort ye, says the Lord. He said, comfort ye, says, tell my people that your salvation has come. Glory to Jesus. Your salvation has come. Glory to Jesus. We join our faith with yours tonight. It may be over the internet, but the affliction is over. It may be over the internet, but the siege is over. Victory is yours. Bible says that thanks be unto God, which always causes us to be triumphant in Christ Jesus. Hey, Kada Dabosha will lose you from that mindset of struggle. We'll lose you from that thinking pattern of struggle. Ya Kada Dabosha, we separate your life from struggle. We separate your life from affliction. Hey, Kada Dabosha. Hey, Kada Dabosha Ketele Bonda. Li Kadida Dabosha. Ya Dada Dada Bonda. Hey, Kede Dede Gele Lebosha. I Kada Dida Gande Legede Debo. Re Kada Dada Bonda. Oh, glory to Jesus. Tonight, we're going to take this prayer point as we begin to draw our prayer to a close. Tonight, we have said, how do you, you know, get through tough times? And the Lord said to me, just as I was preparing for this, he said a lot of my people are going through difficulty, not because they don't have faith, not because there's no power in prayer, because there's power in prayer, sir. There's power in prayer, I'm telling you. 
in this our church, we have seen the we have seen the lame work. We have seen tumors disappear in the on the next level prayer meetings. Where somebody was praying on the internet and the, and the fiber melted. Glory to Jesus. Ah, we have seen the power of God displayed in this church. Uh, if if you're looking for a Bible believing church, connect with us every Sunday. Connect with us six thirty. Bola GID is the is the is the is the, is the, is the uh, Instagram um, handle or Harvesters um, NG on, on, on Facebook and on, 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 on YouTube. But the problem is not that they don't believe. The problem is that they are not paying attention to God instructions. God instructions. A lot of people have gone around the same mountain for too long. Not because God is unfaithful, but they have not paid attention to divine instruction. And they said in the book of Isaiah, he said, I'm the Lord your God that teaches you to profit and leads you in the way you should go. God said, I've been leading you to profit. I've been teaching you in the way you should go, but you've been ignoring it. Tonight, you're going to declare, I have ears that hear. I have ears that hear. I have eyes that see her. I have hearts that conceives her. Divine information, I recognize them. Divine information, I recognize them. Make that a prayer tonight. Divine instructions don't pass me by her. I recognize them. Ya da 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 bonde, ye ka da 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 bo zakata, ye ke de 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 bo zakata la gande, ye ka da 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 bonda, ya da 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 gala bosha, ye ke de 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 bosha. I pay attention to divine instructions. I do not miss them. Make that your prayer tonight. Ya di da ba zakata la bande, ye ka da da bo zeke zeke tili ha, ye ka da 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 bonde, ye ke de 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 bosha, ya da 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 ba, ya ka da 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 bonde, ye ke zeke tula banda, ya ka da 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 divine instructions if Elijah had missed the instruction to go to the brook cherries he would have starved if Elijah had missed the instruction to go to Zarephath when the brook dried up he would have starved glory to Jesus some people are starving because they are by a brook that has dried up and God has given instruction for Zarephath but they are still binding and losing they are still releasing favor for a dried brook tonight the Lord I recognize divine guidance. Oh, Rabba Shakatalaba. Help me not to miss it, Lord. Help me not to miss it. I recognize divine guidance. Eka da da boshata. Eka dida bayakatalaba. Reke de de boshakata. Lika da 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 banda. Eke de 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 bo. Ya da 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 bande. Eke zeke talabaya. Ya ka da 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 ba. Eke zeke telebonda. Ya ka da 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 baya. I recognize divine guidance. In Jesus' name. We are still praying tonight. It's not enough to recognize guidance. It is important to act on it. <laughs> Bible says that those that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. Whatever God wants to do that requires your participation, you must participate. Whatever God wants to do that requires your participation, you must participate. Tonight, declare the Lord, I'm a doer of your word. <laughs> I am a doer of your word. <laughs> you are the one that works in me both to will and to do of your good pleasure. As I hear divine instructions, as I recognize divine patterns, I'm acting on them. I'm acting on them. I receive the grace. I receive the courage to act on them. Ika da 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 bonda, ya ka da 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 bonde gelele bosha. Ika da 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 bonda, eke zeka tala bande de debo, re ba 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 shata. Eke de 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 bonda, ya ka da 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 bosha. I recognize divine patterns and I act on them. I recognize divine guidance and instructions and I act on them. Ika da da bosha, eke de 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 bosha tala banda, eka di da banda da da bosha. Bible says that faith without works is dead. The Lord, I'm working at it. Lord, I'm working at it. In Jesus' mighty name. Some people, they have taken the first step in divine instruction. Then it became tough. Then they felt maybe God is not here. Then they stopped. 
But I've got a word for you. He said, persevere, continue. He said, continue, persevere in it. You know why? He said, as you persevere at it, you see grace deployed. He said, he's able to make all grace to abound unto you, so that you, having all sufficiency in all things, you may abound unto every good work, or every good business, every good venture, every good ministry. You may abound unto every good work tonight. Tonight, just lift your hands whatever you are. Say, Lord, all grace abounds unto me. All grace abounds unto me. All grace abounds unto me. It's not by might, it's not by power. It is by your grace, Jesus. All grace abounds unto me. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shakatala Bahanda. We are still praying, but before we say the last prayer point, I'm going to encourage us to give tonight. Glory to Jesus. Someone say, why do we give? We give because we love Jesus. I'm telling you. Bible says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. One of the proof of love is what you give. One of the proof of love is what you're able to sacrifice. When you find you've got to sacrifice for someone you love, check it. You don't love that person. If you love that person, you are a selfish lover. Bible talked about the church of Achai and the church of Macedonia in, in, in the book of Corinthians. In 2 Corinthians, I think in chapter 10, he said, in their deep poverty, they abounded unto liberality. That means that we don't give as a function of what we have, we give as a function of who we are. Bible says that the liberal soul shall be made fat. He didn't say the one that, that gives once in a while. He didn't say the one that practices generosity once in a while. The one that from within, generosity is in nature too. Is the one that is made fat. The one, he said, there's he that scatters. There's one that, that is liberal and generous and abounds. And there's he that withholds more than his meat and tends to poverty. The world system says, keep all you can and then you can multiply. But the God system says, give all you can and you'll multiply. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. God is not against saving and investment, but God also knows and he wants us to know that the giver is always on top. That's why he said the liberal soul shall be made fat. That's why the one that scatters is the one that abounds. Do you know that the widow of Zarephath was not the only widow in Israel? But she was the only one that was liberal. Only her was sustained in famine. Tonight, as you give, give from a place of love and faith. The Lord, that which I give is because I love you. That which I give is not lost to me. It's gone ahead of me making room for me. Making room in my career. Making room in my business. Making room in my health. He's gone ahead of me. Making room in everything that concerns me. In my relationship. In my home. Making room for me. Glory to Jesus. Our details will show on the screens. If you're watching from Asa, Nigeria, you see the international details as well. You can go ahead and do the, follow the link so you can be a part of what God is doing here um, tonight. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I'm going to use my phone to do the giving. Because you can actually do transfers as well from your mobile devices. Glory to Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. How many of you feel a refreshing? It's just very refreshing when we pray, I'm telling you. Oh, glory to Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to use my short code and I'm going to pray over all the givers of tonight. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And Father, we thank you for the privilege to give our tithes and our offerings. We thank you for the privilege to support the End Hunger Initiative and everything that you are doing in your kingdom. Tonight, I join my faith with the faith of every giver tonight. Everyone that is giving their tithes, their offerings, some of them are giving their seed faith. Lord, the same way the sacrifice of Abel was acceptable unto you. Let their giving be acceptable in the name of Jesus. I declare that your economic activities, maybe it's a job, maybe it's a business, whatever it is you do economically, the increase of God comes upon it and it leads to exponential growth in the name of Jesus. I declare that this is the smallest you will ever be. My God will enlarge your coast. You will spread forth to the right, you will spread forth to the left. You will possess nations in the name of Jesus. Oh, the psalmist says, I've never seen the righteous beg for bread. 
I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he sit begging bread. You are never forsaken. Your children and your children's children after you, they will not beg for bread because of you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen. While you are still here, if you are joining us for the first time, this is Harvesters International Christian Center. Uh, you can text new to the details that will show on the screen. Or you can chat us on our inbox and say, hey, I'm new here. We have a special devotional that is guaranteed to change your life from our senior pastor. And more than that, this weekend, we will be having a connect, a membership connect meeting for everyone that is a guest in our church. If you can connect, if you can just um, contact us um, through the this showing or by a DM message, we will just be able to get in touch with you and connect you. And tomorrow morning, we'll be praying at 6.30 on, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, um, Harvesters NG on Facebook, Harvesters NG um, on, on uh, YouTube, uh, Harvesters TV on YouTube, and on Instagram, Bolaji ID. That is the handle for our senior pastor. You may want to follow all these handles so that you can turn on the notifications. You don't miss any of the prayer sessions. Glory to Jesus. We're not done praying yet. Glory to Jesus. One more prayer point. And we're going to bring the service to a close tonight. Glory to Jesus. And you know, if you've not attended service yet on a Sunday, you are missing a lot. Online service is wonderful. It's superb. But like we used to say when we were younger, I'm part on my vernacular. Kaki no be leather. Glory to Jesus. You know, that corporate fellowship, that worship, you know, it's just different. It's different. There's no space in the realm of spirit, don't get me wrong. It's important that if you cannot come, maybe you don't feel well enough, you stay at home. But for those of us that can come, it's important that you're here. Glory to Jesus. As we join other believers to lift up holy hands and experience Jesus, you know, like the old-fashioned way. Glory to Jesus. Some old-time religion. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Wow. They're going to pray for favor upon your life. Bible said that Esther should have been killed because the king did not ask for her. But after three days of prayer and fasting, favor came upon her. The king saw an unexpected queen that should have been killed. He drew out his scepter and said, come. Don't just come and be alive. He said, I will give you anything you ask for. Up to half of my kingdom. <laughs> That's favor, sir. You know what favor is? It's just that divine selection that makes everybody want to favor you. Everybody want to honor you. Everybody want to bless you. People pass you by and say, come, my brother. Please, I'm, I just feel like I should bless you. And they bless you. They don't know you from anywhere. It's called favor. You, your boss's boss fighting for your promotion. They don't know why. It's called favor. Your people are patronizing your, your business. They are calling you night and day. You can't sleep. You are having to expand to the and all that. And you, you can't explain it. You have deployed the same strategies year one, year two. Nothing happened. But this year, 2020, that there's a recession. Power, explosion. It's called favor. Oh, Rabba Shakatala Bahanda Dabosha. Lika Dabosha Katala Bahanda Dabosha. Lord, tonight. Uh, we release the hand of favor upon everyone that is here tonight. Everyone connecting with us on the internet. Everyone that is live here with me. We release the hand of favor upon them. It goes ahead of you and make all the crooked places straight. Favor with your bosses. Favor with your bosses' bosses. Favor with those that influence your boss. Favor with your customers. Favor with your competitors. Favor with everyone around you. Favor with your neighbors. Favor, favor with your staff. Favor with your domestic staff. Favor, favor, favor. Wa Amen. We're not done yet. Bible talked about Mordecai. This is what favor does for you. Favor can keep those that are meant to bless you awake. Favor can take peace away from those that are meant to bless you. Mordecai was forgotten at the city gates, at the gate of the, of the, of the palace of the king. He had been forgotten, but after the three days prayer and fasting, sir, <laughs> the king could not sleep. And the king did not ask for wine. He didn't ask for entertainment. He asked for the book of remembrance. Because it was time to remember Mordecai. Ah, he said, I will arise and have compassion upon you for the time to favor you. Yes, the set time is come. Today is your day of remembrance. You are going to lead some powerful prayers. People that should not sleep will not sleep. Mordecai left that place and when the king opened the book, the only place he saw was where Mordecai had done some favor to the kingdom and had not been rewarded. Then the man that planned to kill Mordecai, he called him and said, what should we do to the one that the king favors? He said, let us organize the chariot of the king and let one of the favored princes of the land begin to shout after him. This is the man in whom the king is well pleased. He did not know he was planning for the man he was going to kill. Tonight, I'm going to declare, everyone that needs to lose sleep for me to be promoted, they lose the sleep tonight. 
everyone that needs to lose their sleep for my business to expand, they lose their sleep. Huh? Whether in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, whether they are Christians or non-Christians, huh? every government authority that needs to move on my behalf, huh? they move on my behalf huh? because the hand of favor has come upon my life. Huh? Yadada da bosha. I'm not fasting and praying in vain. You have not called the house of Jacob to seek you in vain. As you are speaking tonight, your voice is heard in the governor's office. As you are speaking tonight, your voice is heard in Asuraka. Your voice is heard in presidential palace. Your voice is heard in diplomatic quarters. As you speak tonight, your voice is heard in multinationals. Your voice is heard in places that matter. Your voice is heard in quarters that matter. We give you praise. We give you glory, Jesus. Go ahead and celebrate Jesus. Thank him for answered prayers. Thank him for answered prayers. Every time we call upon you, you hear us, Jesus. Every time we call upon you, you hear us, Jesus. We are grateful. We are grateful, Lord. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I want to encourage you to join us online tomorrow morning, 6.30. We're going to be praying, making power available. Glory to Jesus. We're going to have some prophetic, powerful prayers tomorrow morning. You want to make sure you're part of it, invite at least five of your friends to connect with us tomorrow morning. I'm one brother that I invited said, said, thank you so much for asking me to join these prayers. I'm going to do my best to make sure I'm there every morning. It's changing my life. Glory to Jesus. Numerous testimonies of healings, of promotions. In, in the last two weeks, we've had Two different people that click deals of 3.5 billion just by participating in the morning prayer. How will these things be? You will not see wind. You will not see rain. Yet the valleys will be filled with water. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Were you blessed tonight? Glory to Jesus. Will you invite your friends to join us on Sunday as well? It's going to be a life-changing teaching. We're still teaching on prayer. Glory to Jesus. And you will never be the same again. I mean, one testimony from Sunday service. The lady sent a voice note to one of our pastors, Pastor Benga. She said she had heard us preach about faith and the power of prayer. And then she began to develop a growth on her neck. And this is a nurse. She said, no. Pastor said in the service, she was in Bagada Church. She said, Pastor said in the service that if we will believe what we have said, we will have it. I believe this. This is going to go. The more she confessed, the more the thing grew bigger. She said, I'm not going to succumb to this pain. I'm going to hold up. You know, when you know you have, it's done, there's nothing to succumb to again. She said, you know what? He disappeared without her knowledge. <laughs> Just by attending the Sunday service, faith was built inside of the lady. She, she learned how to exercise her faith. Glory to Jesus. This Sunday, come and learn how to exercise your faith as well. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Thank you so much for being a part of our broadcast tonight. We trust that you have been blessed. Um, till we see you next week, um, Wednesday. Um, make sure you join us online, Thursday and Friday, and our Sunday services as well. We love you. We appreciate you. On behalf of our senior pastor, Pastor Bolaji Idowu, I'd like to say thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.